Right, give us an assessment of tonight's scrimmage. Uh, good and bad, like most places are. We got to clean up a few things penalty wise. Uh, glad we didn't turn it over. I uh, thought our kicking game overall was, was fairly uh, solid. Um, you know, we just got to clean up and work together a bit more. We got some younger guys in the offensive line. We got to get better at that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like how our younger receivers are fitting in the offense, and, and I thought uh, Parham had a good game as well. We've got to run the ball more effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, the way our defense plays a little bit, it, it limits some of that stuff. But uh, but overall, I thought it was a good scrimmage. You know, we'll see more on the film. But I thought both sides of the ball had proved tonight, and that's the number one thing. First, second offense, you got to be happy. Move the ball pretty pretty well up and down the field. Yeah, not bad. Um, you know, I'd like it to be a little more consistent, but if they're really consistent, then you're worried about the defense. So uh, I, I think we've got a lot of good things to build on. I like I like the attitude of this team. The work ethic of this team is outstanding. And uh, and so, you know, we'll keep building from here. Now the freshmen go to class, and they get a little bit away from football, and we go back to kind of an in-season schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think our guys are really excited, and I think our guys are really uh, – doing a good job of not only holding each other accountable, but, but pumping each other up to get going. So again, I can't say enough about the attitude of this team. Any positions that you think are still kind of up for grabs at this point? Um, well, well, you know, the running back position is a little bit up for grabs. You know, we, we, we have a number of backs we think are good. We've got to kind of solidify the order there. Uh, we've got to also um, solidify the order behind Donald, the tight end position. And then in the offensive line, we've got to make sure we figure out who the, the nine best are and maybe 10 best I think we'll take it to the first game to see uh, see what those guys are going to do so we just got to continue to work hard and get better and uh, over but overall I'm very pleased. What about on the defensive side? Well defensive side you know uh, I think our defensive line's playing pretty well Jeb's playing pretty well I think Colby Duncan's playing really well and uh, you know Kraski's stepping in there at Mike and he's doing a nice job and I think we got to make sure that we've got uh, guys we can roll in there both in the offense in the defensive line and linebacker. Uh, secondary overwell is playing good. Um, they're inexperienced back there, so they're getting their kind of baptism by fire a little bit, but we ask them to do a lot. And so, uh, you know, I think what we'll end up doing is kind of figure out what they what they can do and then put them in those situations to, to you know, accentuate the skills. Sure, there's already been some work done on Sacred Heart, but you turn your full attention to them pretty quick? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we've already done some work on Sacred Heart, and certainly we're going to continue to do that now. Since this scrimmage is over, this was kind of the hallmark of the end of fall camp, and now we start moving toward in-season type stuff and looking towards Sacred Heart and and, uh, and even toward Marist as well. That's our first conference game. Health-wise, you had a lot of guys that didn't participate tonight. How many of those guys are are long-term, or how many of them are, can be back and help out before the season starts? Well, Austin Perlman is long-term. He's, he's out for the season. Other than that, I you know, Rovig, the backup linebacker, uh, looks like his knee is pretty serious. We'll have to wait and see. The rest of them are pretty much things we can come back from. And, and we're going to have some people become available uh, next week that we can get ready for the game. Give me an assessment of the scrimmage tonight. How do you think it went? felt good. I mean, we were a little sloppy at times, uh, too many penalties. But I thought we moved the ball well. Uh, offense was clicking good, uh, run and pass. I thought defensively we made some plays. So I thought all around, even the kicking game, special teams, came out, uh, not too many injuries, uh, which was the most important. And then uh, we look forward to trying to get into more of the game week and get ready for Sacred Heart. No turnovers, which is an improvement. Oh, that's a big that's a big part of it. We can't have turnovers. Uh, you know, the turnover ratio is what we've been talking about all fall camp. we got to limit those, and uh, tonight we did that. So I was pretty happy about How that. How hard is it for you to hide a smile every time you see Donald 101? <laughs> I can't lie. I'm peeking over there. If I see it, I mean, if they're stupid enough not to double cover it, then we'll take advantage of it. But uh, yeah, tonight, again, we got a few uh, few opportunities there. Uh, line was doing great blocking, and if they give me that time to make those plays, then we just we click offensively. What about the uh, guys on the outside? You've lost Perlman, but so you oh, yeah. got to find some younger guys. Exactly. Perlman went down early in camp. Uh, great leader, great receiver. So we've had a lot of freshmen getting some playing time. Uh, they've been making plays. Jack Bowen, Justin Jordan, uh, these guys are just jumping right in and learning the offense right away. Uh, our offense is very, you know, complex. So they met with me extra and all doing all that, and uh, it showed tonight. They made some big plays for us. You ready to start focusing on Sacred Heart? Oh yeah, we can't wait. Can't wait.